हाँ सामने जी आप शेयर कर सकते हैं ओके इट्स ओके है नाउ कैन यू सी हम या वी कैन सी द पीपीटी यस यस ओके ओके थैंक यू स्कैन योर सेल्फ आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट माय सेशन विथ अ स्टोरी वंस अ टीचर एंटर्ड a classroom with his fist tightly closed all students became very eager to know what is there in his fist one of them dared to ask one of them dared to ask what is there in your hand uh, the teacher smiled and said moon the rest of them started laughing and said moon appears at night in the sky how come it was in your hand then the and the student asked sir please tell us the truth what is there in your hand teacher replied elephant and then later einstein again monster then a student came ahead and asked show me please show me your hand finally the teacher opened his fist and for everyone's surprise there was nothing but some colorful powders teacher mixed the colors in water and painted a moon elephant einstein and a big monster all the children were surprised this is story may be imaginary but its moral is real and uh, applied for all of us all we are endowed with potential to be among and a monster आदेश आइटम लेन नाउ पुरे जनल पक्कना जॉइन आगा इट्स ओके आर यू कैन आइटम लेन यस इट इट इज परफेक्टली फाइन ऋषभ भाई कैन यू गेन गो ऑन म्यूट प्लीज ओ सो वी ऑल हैव इमेंस पोटेंशियलिटी द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट what shape we provide it to pop up good qualities in our life we need to destroy the seed of bad qualities when we go to the airport before getting into the plane you need to give your luggage for check in and uh, handbags for scanning and we physically have to go through the scanning machine what happens inside the scanning machine the scanning machine source the inside items of the baggage through this process of scanning if we restricted items if any restricted item are found security officers don't allow us to go to go forward we have to take these items out from our luggages then we can move ahead if they don't found any restricted items they happily allow us to go and when we go for medical check up there are different types of scanning machines for different uh, body parts such as x ray machine ecg mri scanning machine etc this scanning machine spot a diagnose where the problem is in our body wait wait a minute it's not oh, moving can change i can't change uh the screen slide um yeah yeah something just uh, click uh, share okay but uh, yes but next slide how to go uh there's a next i think yeah हाँ, 
when we go uh, in the same way when we go to the me medical checkup there are different types of uh, scanning machines where the problem uh, they can diagnose uh, diagnose the where the problem is similarly may, many bad habits like anger pride disease greed anger pride deceit and greed we have within through in our in we have to uh, so you have to scan your mind to remove all these bad habits from you it is possible to can uh, to scan our mind or soul is it possible yes. why is that scanning yes why is that scanning machine the scanning machine do you know what is that scanning machine that scanning machine is self introspection that is meditation through this uh, self introspection we can uh, scan ourselves so uh, can you uh, in this process of scanning you have to check and through all the restricted item uh, means like uh, qualities which stop you being good the first restricted item is anger anger is always and always stop us being good human being it is one of the unwanted items in our soul we all know that uh, anger is just a d away from danger we know anger is very dangerous still we don't try to get rid of it so how you come you come to know that person is a person is angry what do you do when you get angry first your eyes become big when you get angry what happens your eyes become big your face red in rage you sh you shout loudly you quarrel uh, misbehave others use abusing words in this way you hurt others but you should know our anger not only hurt others but it is also hurt us too do you know what damage anger does it disturbs our peace of mind our calmness it weakens our brain power such as our memory power and uh, uh, power as well as our learning capacity it reduces the energy level of body the energy you get from food and meditation during 8 hours those energy you can restore in few seconds of anger nobody like angry child it creates scars in our relation let me share a story with you a farmer a uh, son was very short tempered the farmer decided to teach uh, him a lesson he told his uh, his son that every time he gets angry he should hammer a nail into a table which they have uh, the first day the son had to hammer 28 nails and after dinner he told his father about this the next day he was more conscious about uh, his anger and he had to hammer on the 20 nails finally there comes a day when he did not have to hammer a single nail father uh, father was very happy and told son now for every anger free day that you have take out one nail the son did that so did that soon he has taken all the nails his father was very happy together they went near the table father asked him to see the table which looked disfigured with all the holes in it it will never be the same again when you say things in anger they will leave scars like this can you see in that slide there is a scars in the table so here you need to scan yourself to get to get rid of anger how do you do that how can you do that 
ask yourself few questions do i do i get irritated when i when my parents scold me for my mistake am i get irritated when my siblings hurt me or take my toes anything which is mine am i get upset and angry at myself when i don't meet my expectation am i get angry when i don't get what i want if your answer is yes then you need to practice some exercises in daily basis like uh, yoga san such as rabbit posture do you practice this have you learned in your uh, path sala yes yoga san such as rabbit posture knowledge posture maha pranadhvani that is humming sound i think you have learned this also feel your uh, another practice is fill your mouth with water when you feel irritated or count 100 to 1 count uh, 100 to 1 i am not telling just for the sake of telling see all these exercises are very very scientific which you feel when you fill uh, your mouth with water or you count 100 uh, to 1 what then what happens you you have to focus your mouth in counting or in water fill mouth then your over active motion that ends anger immediately calm down so it's very simple we can practice when you get irritated don't forget to practice this hmm. second the second restricted item which stop you progressing in your life is fear first of all we should know what is fear fear is a primary emotion for survival against danger fire burns all you know isn't it fire burns now let me uh, tell me do you have the fear that fire burns now Can you can you tell me? Do you have the fear that fire burns? Yes or no? If I am very next to it, then I will fear. But if I am five feet away, then I won't. This question one: the, uh, Do you have the fear that fire burns me when you go near to fire? Do you feel that? Yes, it will burn me. No. Or do you have the just the knowledge of fire's burning nature? what is there we know we have the knowledge we don't fear if we have fear then we can start is we can set fire but we set fire because we know it burns but it always doesn't burn us so unnecessary fear always makes us paralyzed suppose one would keeps a snack in your uh, room right now beside you would you feel fear yes yes i feel fear i don't know about you but i feel fear why do you know simple because it may harm us it may harm you so here we fear because we uh, we are we become conscious we because cautious to take defensive action to save our life so fear is classified into two parts one is destructive fear which is unnecessary and unwanted so uh, one a uh, destructive fear is the imaginary fear this is again a uh, imaginary fear this fear is not actually real like uh, most of our fear is all about that which does not exist fear is fear of monster fear of animals fear of darkness uh, etc when we watch uh, horror movies or horror shows you feel uh, or you imagine we imagine this uh, fear like uh, someone is coming uh, someone is there under our bed or uh, someone is uh, coming towards me from the darkness it happens with you sometimes you feel like that this fear is not good it makes us weak mentally as well as physically the second unnecessary fear is uh, uh, 
like fear of telling truth fear of telling the truth when you do uh, any wrong thing anything wrong and your parents ask you about it who did this you become very afraid of telling that truth why and due to that fear uh, of getting punishment you tell lie no i did not do this or i don't know who did this uh and sometimes uh, like even you blame others uh, she or he did this isn't it but this is not good we should never tell lie we should have courage to accept our mistake and tell the truth in jainism there are five kinds of uh, vows uh, among them uh, like uh, truth is uh, the second vow do you know what the five five vows name do you know that what are the five vows can you tell ahinsa uh, yes. acharya aparigraha brahmacharya the second? the second is acharya no there's a third one acharya second is uh, second is truthfulness yeah third one is acharya fourth acharya. one is brahmacharya and fifth mm. one is aparigraha aparigraha very good so uh, the second vow is truthfulness when we practice this vow we get the courage to face every situation in our life we uh, if you do if you did something wrong uh, have courage to accept it and if you did not do just say i don't do i did not do once abraham lincoln the famous president of america had got in uh, had got an ex as a birthday gift from his father when he was young one day he cut down all the plants uh, of their garden he cut down all the plants of their uh, plants of their garden by those acts when his father returned home he became very sad to see those those plants he asked his son who did this initially abraham lincoln um, hesitated and feared that uh, then with courage he replied i did this mistake his father felt very sad but he was satisfied and happy that his son accepted his mistake and accepted his mistake with courage so truth brings trust in our life it makes us trustworthy there is a saying i think you all of know if wealth is lost can you complete this sentence if wealth is lost nothing is lost if health is lost something is lost but if character is lost everything is lost so give up your fear and tell the truth and maintain your character maintain your good character and the second one is the constructive fear in many cases fear is also good mostly we think that fear is not good but some cases fear is good that is uh, that and constructive fear like uh, exam fear of exam if you don't have this fear you would not study well we should have little stress so that we can prepare before appearing in the exam uh, uh one another fear is like fear of seeing fear of sinful activities there is a word in jain uh, scripture jain agam do you know what is the jain scripture agam so there it is written paap bhiru it means one should have the fear fear of sinful activity all of us should have this fear this fear save us from doing sinful activities as violence uh, hurting others telling lies taking other things without without their permission quarreling fighting and so on according to karma philosophy according to karma philosophy whatever you do that will bounce back to you though nobody is watching you uh, doing such uh, sinful activities but your karma your karma is watching you doing all your acts good or bad and record and uh, recorded in its book and according to your acts you get rewarded or punishment so this scanning machine this scanning process will definitely help you to check your uh, karmic account see your deposits of karma deposits of bad karma is more 
or deposits of goof karma is heavier and reduce the bad karma's deposit like this there are many fears like a uh, fear of your parents fear of teachers uh, all these are good fear and all this make us good human being by keeping us away from bad things but you have to scan out the restricted fear to move forward in your life the uh, third the third restrictive item in your growth is laziness what do you mean by laziness what do you mean by laziness first of all we should know what is laziness why we are lazy or why we feel laziness suppose you are asked to do what you like the most do you do it do you do this what you like the most immediately you do you don't delay you do very fast uh, you don't feel like laziness you love you enjoy to do that can you tell me what you like the most okay leave it and somebody tells you to do the things which you don't like to do and you have to do it how do you feel very bored you try to skip that i tell i will do after some time i will do this evening and in the evening you again tell i will do in the morning in this way you always postpone that work why because you are not interested in that work so you feel laziness and you try to find excuses to escape uh, from that work you give excuses many children don't want to study they always give excuses to escape from study let me share with you how they give excuses the the children who don't want to study it's not fault the student is telling who is lazy and uh, always try to es escape it's not uh, uh, it's not the fault of me if i fail it's not the fault of me if i fail because the year has only 365 days because the year is only 360 365 days typical academic year for me as a student first sundays how many sundays are there 52 sundays in a year you know sundays are for rest days left 313 313 summer holidays 50 where weather is very hot and difficult to study days left 263 8 hours daily sleep means 330 days days left 141 one hour for daily play because it's good for health it's good for health means 15 days days left 162 one 126 uh the second hour, two hours daily for food and other uh, delicacies means 30 days days left 96 one hour for chatting whatsapp etc iphone it means 15 days days left 81 exam days per year at least 35 days uh, days left 46 quarterly uh, half yearly and festival ho holidays 40 days balance is only 6 days for sickness at least 3 days remaining days 3 movies and function at least 2 days remaining day 1 and then one day is my birthday how can i study on that day balance is zero how can i pass is not my fault see we may laugh hearing this but uh, we all give such excuses in our life many times we give such excuses in our life listen to me what do you want i am asking you a question what do you want an ordinary boy or girl of your age or extraordinary what do you want ordinary or extraordinary you can answer extraordinary extraordinary yes very good if you want to be ordinary then follow the crowd whatever others are do do the same you don't want to do an extra effort and stay there where you are but if you want to be extraordinary 
boy or girl then you wake up don't follow the don't follow the crowd do something special do something extra a little extra effort which will take you to your goal forget about excuses forget about laziness put yourself completely and see success watching for you so uh, for this there are many uh, tips to remove your uh, laziness like first first thing is prayer pray to overcome your laziness first we should pray uh, pray to god we should uh, chant navgar mantra at least for five times 11 times so that because from this we get very much energy uh, most powerful energy we get and that time we don't feel laziness if we uh, when you wake up early in the morning and say prayer second is exercises when you wake up in the morning you should uh, practice some exercises third is water wash your face immediately after waking up and you should drink water also and uh, the fourth uh, is uh, fruit we should uh, uh, because after a long night our energy level uh, lower down uh, so when we eat something immediately uh, after getting up waking up we get energy remember fruit is 1000 time better than tea coffee or chocolate all this because tea and coffee and chocolates contain sugar but doesn't have any uh, fiber in it when we drink immediately after uh, it it releases energy but in case of banana it contains lot of uh, uh, fiber fiber is what is fiber fiber is something that which is very good for our digestion so it uh, releases releases energy slowly and slowly so when we get energy from banana it sustains for a long time at least for 2 to 1 uh, to 2 hours but energy we get from chocolate or all this uh, it sustains only for 5 to 10 minutes so after that we can uh, again we feel laziness so we should uh, have fruit third is a cleanliness how we create the environment outside the same environment is get created itself inside us so if you always keep your room messy what will happen you toys scatter somewhere uh, somewhere your school bag here and there your shoes there your socks uh, room completely messy then tell me how you feel energetic you can't feel energetic in that situation so uh, there is a direct connection there is a direct connection of our energy to uh, to our uh, cleanliness neat and cleanliness if you keep your environment clean laziness will not even come to you never be lazy as far as cleaning is concerned keep yourself always busy never sit idly and the fourth point and sixth point is if you have a purpose for you daily uh, doing something you don't feel laziness so always have purpose for doing things goal goal should always be realistic that create energy that should challenging uh, and set a goal set a time limit goal that um, uh, like within a week i will uh, i will achieve this or uh, within a month i will do this i did, i will complete my uh, work i have to achieve this goal you must not live a life without goal without a definite goal how we will channelize our energy we can't channelize it it will be waste so so set a realistic goal uh, the next is planning when our planning for the day is strong like today i have to do this and this that uh, then our energy level increases and our laziness run away the next is self awareness if i will tell you to sit as a statue if i'll tell you to sit as a statue and focus your eyes on a pen which is kept in your uh, at your desk for at least 5 minute initially you feel difficult isn't it 
if I'll tell you to sit like a statue for some time, you'll feel like it is difficult. But after some time, but it improves our energy level. It improves our awareness. When you are concentrated and aware, then you don't feel laziness. So always keep your uh, self aware and stay focused. Self-control, the next point is self-control. When you come back from school, what you do? We sit on the TV and start watching. And without your knowledge, you watch for a long time. One hour passes, sometimes uh, even more, two hours. You stop watching when your mama stop you watching or scold you. Don't watch now. After that, what happened? You feel very, very tired. Body X started, body, body pain started, eyes burns, you feel laziness. So iPhone and TV are the big causes of our laziness. So at least, at least for two days in a week, you celebrate. We should celebrate what? What you celebrate? Like you celebrate uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Teacher's Day. In the same way, we celebrate uh, a mobile free day. A mobile free day. Another day, celebrate as a television free day. In those days, we just play with your siblings, with your parents, with your friends. Do little extra work. Help your mama in her work when she is working in the kitchen, doing something. You should help them. Or do something extra. Do a uh, little extra study. You can do that. Do clean. Uh, or even you don't have any other work, then you started doing cleaning work. Do clean your garden little extra work, you will feel great deal of happiness. You think like uh, we will do, most of the, uh, we think that when we do any extra thing, when we do more things or uh, more work, then we feel very uh, tired, but it's not happen. When you, with interest, uh, willingly you do, then we feel zeal of energy and happiness. A great zeal of energy. Your energy level will increase 10 times more. If we just, sitting idly and watching TV. We think like we are not doing, we are not wasting our energy, but at, but really we waste our energy a lot because uh, the rays coming from TV and phones, it's uh, consume our energy. So one, uh, at least two days in a week, one day is, what is that? Mobile free day, another day is, another day is, TV free day. TV free day. Can you practice that? Can you do that? Yes. Try to do. Try to uh, practice that. So uh, your energy level, when you practice that, your energy level will increase 10 times more. You will really feel very, very energetic. Mm. So uh, if you want to really want to be little extraordinary man, extraordinary uh, boy or girl, you have to practice all this. First, my first point was what? Do you remember? Can you remember that? Younger. I tell you what? Younger. We should, what is the restricted item? If you want to scan ourselves, what is the first restricted item? Anger. Younger. That. And second? Yeah. Fear. Fear. What? Fear. Fear. Yes. And the third one? Laziness. Laziness. So, to remove all these uh, three, uh, this restricted item, we can go forward. We can go ahead. Otherwise, we can't go. We can't go forward. We can't go ahead. So, always try to do this. Always try to... Uh, uh, rest, uh, to calm down your uh, anger, always try to do that. Whenever you get the situation that I am really, I'm not, I am now, I'm getting angry. Uh, we always think that uh, anger, uh, we always blame that because of this, I get angry. Because of that, because I didn't uh, uh, find this or because 
nobody help me so i get angry is not true because anger is within us the seed of anger the seed of all the bad qualities are within us so we have to don't blame others we always see ourselves because we can scan we can scan ourselves when we see ourselves if we see others we can't scan others because uh, we can't control others what we can control we can control ourselves we can change ourselves we can't change others we can't change others habits uh, it is the control we have the control in ourselves so we can change ourselves so first try to change yourself start with yourself uh, when you practice this uh, this three to remove all this three quality you can be uh, a very good human being Ah, let me share one thing. So uh, till now I was telling, till now I was telling, I was discussed about the scanning process. So you have to scan three things. There are many other qualities also. There are many other bad things which uh, we develop throughout our life. many others are there like greediness sometimes we feel very greedy uh, we always want to um, um, collect things we, sh we should not collect so any other many other things are there like uh, greediness selfishness sometimes we are very very selfish so all these are the negative items which cannot allow us to go forward it cannot allow us to develop in our life it cannot allow us to um, to uh, become a good or great human beings in our life we are all this we have the uh, greatness in us the seed of greatness is also uh, within us and the seed of uh, uh, monster is also within us so we have to choose whatever we want to be a monster or a monk so you have to choose that and and that to be a monk or to be not monk means a good man good human being uh, uh, uh like a uh, good human beings so you want to be uh, go in that way you want to choose that way then you have to recognize your own weaknesses yourself no one is uh, going to tell you that uh, you have to remove this quality teachers all this they always uh, they always show the way but we have to do ourselves we have to practice ourselves to remove all these bad qualities from us so till now i was discussing about the scanning process here uh, my role is over because these are many other things you have to choose you have to think yourself what is what are the weaknesses i have i just uh, quoted the three anger or fear and uh, laziness but you have to uh, see yourself you have to see a scanning machine uh, it shows everything whatever is there inside good or bad anything it shows everything but and we have to recognize which is my bad quality and which is my good quality after recognize that you need to do scanning machine scanning you do you need to scan yourself so here my role is over and your role started whatever uh, master point i shared with you uh, you need to practice them to remove the restricted items from your life completely put your heart and soul in it you cannot achieve your goal in a day can you achieve if uh, if you thinking uh, i will practice one day whole day then i will achieve my goal i will be a good person is it possible no is it possible we, we have to practice we have to practice every day every day little by little we can change first of all you should have that uh, uh, the firm mentality to change yourself you have to have resolution you have to resolve yourself that i want to live the life of extraordinary personality extraordinary person i want to be extraordinary so first of all we have to make our goal to be a good human being then then planning you have to plan that i have i will uh, remove this this quality from myself and i will accept 
this uh, good quality is in me i will accept this then and through practices and uh, re to removing that practices you need to remove that bad qualities you know to practice every day whatever that uh, i told that uh, for laziness there are 10 points and for anger all this you have to practice every day in your life but whenever you get like um, anger or you feel lazy or you feel fear you have to, you should remember that this point whatever i shared with you you have to remember every day you have to remember that uh, this point and in this situation i have to do this then then you can uh, you have to apply this you you will apply this when you know this so uh, so jab the master point i uh, shared with you you need to practice them remove the sexister item from your life completely put your heart and soul in it you cannot achieve all this in a day that is uh, it is saying rome was not built in a day rome was not built in a day so you have to you need to practice every day you have to practice this every day in your life it needs regular practice do it and you will fly high in the sky of your uh, dream world and i do remember one inspiring thought of robert frost miles to go i have you remember this the woods are lovely and dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep so what i told about that uh, introspection self introspection that is that means meditation so at least we should practice meditation have you know what how to do meditation do you know that have you learned uh, somebody ji uh, ek uh, question hai harshil ka what kind uh, of meditation should we do like a yellow med yellow light meditation or something so maybe you know you can try to address this okay so so there are many different kinds of meditation for different problems like for anger we should do the meditation of white color in the center of knowledge do you know what is the, where is the center of knowledge the center of knowledge situated at the top of the head there we should imagine initially the color will not see the, you can't see the color we can't the color will be not seen but with practice regul if you practice regularly then you can you can see the colors the white bright color and imagine you can if we it's not possible to see that color if the color is not seeing you uh, you can't see the color then you will practice that uh, imagining do imagine that white color is there like a, a, a full moon uh, uh, or the any bright color like a snow the color of snow then you practice this and and uh, uh, after that you will start long breathing at least you should practice 5 minute long breathing you know how to do that long breathing breathe in long uh, and breathe out long take long breath and breathe out so uh, for anger you should have this practice and for laziness what tips i have told you so that we have to practice that and one more uh, like uh, uh, for to remove the laziness to uh, we should like um, uh, uh, like uh, we can click the ear and just uh, like this we have to do this like this ear snake your ear and the third uh, for uh, uh, the fear you have to contem contemplate the contemplation is very good exercise to remove the fear to abolish the fear like uh, uh, contemplation means like anupeksha when we see when sit in a meditation posture and you have to tell yourself you have to uh, feed your unconscious mind in your uh, the mind within you have to see that i am fearless i i don't fear in any situation i don't have fear at all i am very brave you have practice at least for nine times you have to say yourself i am very brave i am very brave i don't fear i don't have this uh, negativity in me if you practice this for uh, at least for five times then you can remove all this okay any other question 
Uh, yeah. Uh, now, uh, anybody has any question? Probably they can unmute themselves and ask the question. We have a uh, next ten to twelve minutes. Probably we can take this time for a question and answer. I have a question. Yeah. So let's say um you know somebody's not there, but you hear like a sound. So for fear, you said to do contemplation or anupriksha. So should we do it in the morning or when that uh, when um like we hear that sound? Should we do it? Yes, yes, yes. See, uh, when we hear sound like snake or this, it is our imagination. Of I don't know, but maybe it's possible that somewhere the sound is coming. You have to check what is real. The sound is real, or I just uh, is only I can listen this sound. I can hear this sound. You have to check that if that uh, is real somewhere from somewhere it is coming. It's no no need to fear. Uh, if you think like this sound is from nowhere, I am just uh, I can hear only. So it's our imaginary fear. In that situation. uh we have to practice every day because it means we have fear inside it means so to remove that fear we have to practice every day anupriksha i am very bold i am very bold practice and long breathing with with long breathing you should uh, the process of i am telling the process of anupriksha is that contemplation is when when you uh, when you are taking long breath you say mentally to yourself and when you are breathing out then uh, think that or imagine that my fear is my fear is going out my fear is removing when inhaling you should do that positive uh, statement you say to yourself my uh, i am very brave i am very brave and with exhalation with breathing out you should say my uh, my negativity or my fear is releasing and that time also you can do when you feel that that when you the hear that sound in that time also you should practice this any other question i have got one more question. got my answer yes got i have answer? another i have another okay. question okay so um in laziness right so yes. let's just say um i wake up always 6 but today i wake up 4:30 and i'm not very used to that so i like my eyes feel heavy and everything and then i go back to sleep so how do i keep that from happening even though if i like um uh even though my room is clean how should i help with that see you when you uh, when you are feeling you were today you were uh, you every day you wake up early or today you wake up early yeah hmm? today only na yeah yes because of that because we don't have that practice of uh, uh, waking early so one day only today you change your habit so we have we don't have the habit of uh, uh, waking early in the morning when you make this your habit then you don't feel uh, like a laziness so because our do you know what is biological clock we have inside our clock when we like uh, uh, the the time comes when we sleep uh, when we feel sleepy the times come when we um, uh, feel hungry we always all the day do you feel, do you feel hungry or do you feel sleepy no sometimes sleepy sometimes no not always whole the 24 hours do you feel sleepy when you uh, when you slept for 8 hours at night after that also you feel sleepy not yeah. always because our biological clock is set we feel time to time uh, uh, the, the the time comes then we feel sleepy then time comes then we feel sleep uh, we feel uh, like a uh, to, we awake and we feel uh, hungry the cells or uh, everything is uh, set in their time so when we change the time circle we feel laziness so today you change your time only for today that's why you feel laziness and you went back to sleep so you have to you have to uh, you have practice every day so slowly suppose you wake up at 6 o'clock so 
from tomorrow you just wake 10 minutes before or 13 minutes before in this way when you uh, practice this slowly don't uh, immediately you will change it, it's not possible at a certain uh, if you want to change everything is not possible because our biological clock our subconscious mind our inner mind will not accept it because we have that habit of daily uh, waking late in the morning so so slowly you have to change your habit step by step not at a time don't take a, like a bounce slowly slowly have to change your habit uh, little by little then you will feel you can change your biological clock the time set also you can change and you can change your habit and that after that you will not feel like laziness got got it thank you i have one more question for angry yes. so yes. sometimes when like um in like cricket when i play i want to go batting first but then my brother says i want to go batting first and we both get sorry, like sorry, in a sorry, fight. Sorry. sorry i didn't get but uh, what was the uh, i didn't understand marshall do you also want to show video probably uh okay okay sure. Can I close this uh, video? Yeah, you can stop sharing, uh, Samriji. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, Harshil. Okay, so um, let's say me and my brother are playing cricket, and I want to go batting first, but then, but then um, he wants to go batting first. So then, how? And then we both get into a quarrel. So should I compromise or should he compromise? See, who is elder? You, your brother. brother. So both of you have to compromise. Sometimes you uh, you betting first, and sometimes let your brother betting first. So always see. Uh, maybe uh, you also have that uh, I want to do first, and he also they think the same way, na? So he also sometimes he also won't. So one step you and one step him. So in this way you compromise without compromising. See always and you also don't don't feel good. Always you want and uh, I will betting first and you will not allow your brother. Then you also inside you will also not feel good, isn't it? Always you stop your brother and always you for you wait uh, you 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 do betting first. Can you feel good? He also have that. Uh, he also wants to do that. I also want to waiting for us. Then first, then how can you? Uh, so in this way, you have to compromise. Sometimes you, sometimes later me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other question? Anyone wants? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll no other question. Uh, uh, टर्न ऑन So oh, we don't know how to actually like split it between us because we usually get only half an hour. There's like three hours. Yes. So if we would split it up, we would get ten minutes. And in some mostly episodes are like twelve minutes. So when I don't know what to do then. Oh, you are you are you want to tell uh, that the episodes are for twelve minutes. Usually, I didn't. Yes. Basically, we only get thirty minutes every day of TV. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, yes, if you wa- if we watch TV for twenty minutes or thirty minutes, it's okay. It's not uh, very bad. But sometimes, like uh, Sundays, what you do? In Sundays, what you do? You st- you stretch your time. Isn't it? 
we usually just say one episode and you're done. Two episodes are you done? Yes, three. sometimes you uh, strengthen your time. Huh? You just um, see for long times. So you should think that this is okay. Your mama is allow you to watch TV for half an hour. But always uh, we think like uh, nothing will happen if you uh, watch TV for half an hour. But you, if you think that um, this half an hour, which I watch TV, if we use in any other thing, any other creativity, can you not benefit it more? If you watch TV, what we'll do? Nothing, we are waste our time sometimes. Okay, if you are watching something uh, good or um, learning things, then it's okay, it's good. But see, this is the period uh, in which you are, in, this, in the age you are, it's very important. It's a very, very golden time. This is like a, uh, we can mold ourselves, we can change ourselves. We, uh, if you so, this is very important period for our life. If we waste our time watching TV, sometimes half hour, sometimes one hour. In holidays, most of the uh, children they watch for long, for a long time. So, uh, think that. So, I should use this time creatively. I will not waste, I should not waste time watching TV. So think that, and you have to self-control because sometimes we feel like uh, nothing will happen if you will uh, watch half an hour. But actually, it's very important time. You should do something creative. You should do something. You can write something. You can write essay. You can write poems. Okay. Isn't it? Uh, I can't yeah. hear you. And by the way, you made a mistake on that short story by A.B. Lincoln. It was actually George Washington. And by yes. the way, that's my real story. Yeah, uh, I didn't understand. You heard of the George Washington and the cherry tree? But yeah, the if you... Mm -hmm. No, no, that yes, was yes. a different story. That was like only one tree. She, Abraham Lincoln cut down all the plants. Oh. All right. Um... Now, I think we are almost uh, reaching to our time. Um, yes. uh, uh, we should say Kritik me to Samniji. And um, I hope everybody got a, a good uh, uh, session. Uh, we must have learned a lot of good tips and tricks, right? We should all say Kritik Gyosmi to Samniji. But again, I want to say again, I want to say that you have to practice every day. One step, one in a day, one step. Go one step in a day. In this way, you can change yourself. You want whatever you want to be, you can achieve that. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have a next speaker or guest uh, now, um, Dr. Ruchi Jain. Uh, we would be having a yoga session from her. Uh, let me quickly brief her with this brief introduction. So Dr. Ruchi Jain was born and brought up in Mumbai. Uh, she's a physiotherapist by profession. Uh, she has taken sessions on uh, physical health of children and women health on various fora. And she has also been awarded the Prerna Samman by Akhil Bharti Terapanth Mahila Mandal last year. So let's welcome uh, Dr. Ruchi Jain uh, for our next session. And I hope now everybody can get uh, settled uh, to do some yoga practice, right? Uh, mats or maybe carpet or whatever feel comfortable. So let me. Okay. Uh, audio, audio. Uh, should I start? 